good morning good afternoon good evening guys wherever you are in this beautiful world whenever you're watching this youtube video welcome to the bitcoin family youtube channel for newcomers my name is Didi. in today's video again amazing bitcoin charts a beautiful trading tip some awful news yes really awful news for this industry but you need to see this news and hear this news um of course a travel tip and of course also answering one of the questions and what else comes to my mind on this beautiful monday morning again here in phuket thailand in my own garden on my private pitch where i'm gonna show you the quality of my new mic bam first things first uh, guys let's start with the amazing bitcoin charts i have four amazing charts that you need to see a few of them show you exactly why at this moment you should be in bitcoin very important bitcoin charts today so enjoy them to the fullest the first chart of today guys is of course this beautiful uh, day chart this day chart is showing you that we have created now that higher high that i've been talking about for a very long time already you can see it beautifully on the chart over here guys a low a high a higher low a higher high a higher low and now again a higher high will this be followed up by another higher low then i believe that the higher low will be somewhere around that level of that red line 28,000 us dollar this is the 200 day moving average i believe that we will find support this green line is also going to cross um, this red line if you look here somewhere in the 5th of november that will be an area where it would be a bullish cross a golden cross again on the daily chart guys beautiful job let's jump into the more interesting charts for today before i do that guys of course be reminded that at the moment we have the bybit lucky draw if you sign up using our links to bybit you can win prizes it's like about 850 prizes like 500 dollar coupons 100 dollar coupons you can even win an iphone 15 it's not just one iphone it's a couple of iphones it's a couple of 500 dollars it's like a lot of prizes 850 in total if you just use the link to sign up to bybit today if you already signed up to bybit with one of our links you can still join this lucky draw you just need to click the link down below this video to the lucky draw and then log into bybit and it will show you how many spins you have to try and win that iphone or one of the other 850 prizes guys now the second chart this is the more important chart this is the bitcoin mid epoch index totally to the left is the start of the halving in the middle at 105,000 blocks that's the mid of the block count and then the end we have 210,000 blocks that's the halving again now we can see where we are now in the mid epoch we were at the moment at 39,640 the halving still needs to be seen if we look to the red line the mid epoch was at 7450 the halving we were a little bit higher around 8590 dollars if you look at the blue line the mid epoch we were at um, 589 dollar and the halving we were at 650 dollar so this is indicating that every time around the halving we were higher than that mid epoch and that mid epoch this time was around 39640 dollar so the halving we should be a little bit higher which would be higher than 40k and that is exactly the target that i've been telling you already for months now around able 2024 will be between 40 and 50k beautiful chart now this chart this chart is showing you why you should be in bitcoin at the moment i already did the introduction the cost of rent in us dollar versus the cost in bitcoin that green line is the cost in US dollar. That orange line is the cost in Bitcoin. Now, if you look from 2020, there was a small, tiny area where a couple of months, two, three months, renting was more expensive in Bitcoin than it was in US dollar. And that was, of course, in the bear market. But look what happened after. The green line went up with almost 20%. So the cost of rent in US dollar went up with 20%. Because you were in Bitcoin, the cost of rent dropped all the way now to 75% lower. Because Bitcoin is going up in price, so you need to spend less Bitcoins to pay your rent. This is the first chart showing you how beautifully it is to live in Bitcoin like me, all in. The cost of rent is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper for us. The cost of rent in the US dollar for you is getting more expensive and expensive and expensive. And that's also showing this chart. The cost of food we see exactly the same in us dollar you're paying 25 percent more for the food and in bitcoin you're paying almost 75 percent less now for the food this is a huge difference 
there's a gap of 100%, 25% plus and 75% minus, that's 100% gap if you would have stayed in Bitcoin. Gasoline, look, dollars, almost 50% more you're paying now for gasoline in US dollars. In Bitcoin, you're paying 50% less for your gasoline. So you're paying 50% less Bitcoins for gasoline than you paid in 2020. You're paying 50% more for your gasoline in dollars now than you did in 2020. So there's a huge difference, guys. Understand these charts. Now, this is a very interesting chart, the Bitcoin versus gold chart. I am always telling you guys that Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. And I really believe it is. And I really believe we are now in the first part where gold was in the 70s. And if you look at that black line Bitcoin, you can see they were kind of in line with the movements that gold made in the 70s, 71, 72, 73. So I really believe that Bitcoin could follow that trajectory, but I don't believe uh, the time frame that you see on these charts. So on the time frame, now 2022 and 23 would have been a bull market for Bitcoin, which it isn't, it's a bear market. And 2024 and 25 would be bear market, but in my opinion, it would be a bull market if you look on the bottom uh, to the years on the chart. But the thing that you need to do is zoom out and look at this. If Bitcoin will get the spot EDF approved, then this can happen to Bitcoin, as this also happened to gold when the spot ETFs were approved. I think it was in the 70s and 70s somewhere. So we can see that massive run of volume of liquidity of money streaming into Bitcoin because of spot ETF and by that become even bigger than gold. So for me, Bitcoin is the gold store of value of the 21st century. And this chart is just showing you, if you zoom out, how big it could become, how high Bitcoin could go. Very interesting chart. Now, there's another chart that I found on Twitter, El Crypto Prof. Um, we can see he's comparing the COVID crash now with the FTX crash, number two and four. So from one, we go into the crash, we go into three, into the top. And he's drawing a lot of these uh, black lines on the chart where we can see if we break certain levels of resistance and we retest it, we have that yellow area. After that, we go really bullish. So we are doing the same now. We had the top, we have the FTX crash. We created a huge area of resistance. We broke that resistance and we are now finding support on that resistance. Does that mean we are now again in that yellow area taking off into a massive bull market? This is possible, but again, for me, the bull market is going to be in 2024-25. Now, this one I found really funny. It's okay if you don't like Bitcoin, guys. It's smart money for smart people. So if you don't like it, then you're probably not smart enough to understand it. I hope you really enjoyed these Bitcoin charts, guys. And as always, I want to remind you to this beautiful mantra. You need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. Just anticipate the next huge bull run you should be buying bitcoin now running the beautiful bull run all the way to the top and there exchange again to stable coins and then let the market crash and buy back it's simple as that you need to zoom in at life enjoy every single day of every single minute try to enjoy them to the fullest live the life you love and love the life you live let's jump into the trading tip The trading tip for today, guys, has to do with volatility. If you trade Bitcoin, that is volatile. It goes up and down. You need to be aware of that. But if you trade altcoins, they are even more volatile. And you need to be aware of this volatility. This volatility exists because the strong hands want to make you afraid so that you will sell your cryptos. They will dump the price that you're like, ah, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell because it's going to go to zero. You need to rethink and reset your mindset. The volatility is the reason why you make profit. If that price crashes, that's the moment you buy or you dollar cost average because you bought already more expensive and you buy a little bit cheaper and the average price then is cheaper or you start to buy at those crashes. Those crashes shouldn't make you afraid. If you didn't buy an asset yet and you see it crashing, that is the moment to become happy to buy it. Because if you believe in the fundamentals and the team and the idea behind an, an asset or a token, you should be buying it at the bottom. 
not freaking out, buying it. When the blood is on the streets, you buy. That was the trading tip for today. Yes, the cool part of this mic is I don't need to be near my camera anymore. I can get really creative. Guys, the travel tip for today, while I'm walking in my own football pitch, the travel tip today, guys, is always carry with you a spare copy of passport pictures. You know the certain format that the passport picture needs to be? Always have a few copies of them. Because if you travel, for example, to Thailand, you will need them to apply for a certain visa. So in every country, you need these passport copies for something so make sure you have them because if you're arriving in Cambodia in the evening and the morning you need to be for example at the embassy and you still need to find or search some venue that makes passport pictures for you it will take you a shitload of time that you don't want to spend to to trading these passport photos so always have a copy of a passport picture photo with you that was the travel tip for today bam the news for today guys is a very sad news do you remember that um, decentralized video platform library? That's a platform I use to back up all my YouTube videos. It was the first decentralized platform that I used uh, for my videos as well. It's called Library and they changed later to Odyssey. Now Library uh, just tweeted on the 20th of October that they are going to stop their business. They are losing the fight against the SEC. Um, I think it's about 22 million or something that they are now in debt to the SEC. So they can't pay that debt, so they need to stop. The library is a blockchain. Odyssey is a project that was built on that blockchain. And um, Odyssey is the platform now also that I use to upload my videos. Because every time when YouTube, for example, um, gives me a ban or blocks me, I will do upload my videos to library, Odyssey and to Rumble. So make sure you're always signed up to Rumble and Odyssey at the moment. Um, and I don't know if Odyssey will still keep existing because they built everything on the library blockchain. And if that will stop to exist, then I don't know um, if that will continue. So be sure that you also sign up to my Rumble account over there to be always up to date of the videos when I might get blocked in the future if I talk about the wrong subjects again. I feel very sad for the library team, guys, but I do want to give you a shout out. I, I'm, I'm very happy I have used your product from the beginning. I'm very happy you took up the fight against centralized uh, video platforms. Sadly, you didn't uh, survive, but there will be a new adventure for you. And um, I know for sure that you will make the best out of that new adventure again. And I hope that Odyssey will still exist. And if it doesn't exist, guys, it's not your fault. This is an unfair fight that we are now fighting as the Bitcoin community, as the crypto community, against very centralized, powerful entities. And we will win that fight at the end, but we need to keep fighting. So the only thing I want to say to the library team is please don't give up your passion for crypto and blockchain. Please create something even more decentralized and better um, to disrupt that whole monetary, but also video centralized world that we are fighting at the moment with our community. Thanks library team for all the things you did for us. Keep your head on and move on to the next adventure. Guys, the inspirational quote for the day is a very uh, powerful one. And it has to do with something that I do a lot. I talk a lot. And it also has to do with something that I want to continue doing, but I also want to do something new. The quote for today is, if you keep talking, you're only repeating the knowledge that you already know. If you start to listen, you might learn something new. I think it's a very important quote. And I'm talking a lot. A lot. So I'm educating a lot of people with the knowledge I already have, but I also need to learn something new. And that is why I opened the Bitcoin family Telegram groups. We have a standard one and we have a VIP one. But in these groups, I get the possibility to listen to you guys. What is your passion in this industry? What are your cryptos that you're supporting? What are your ideas about how to build the Bitcoin family into a huge Bitcoin family of same minded people that want to build projects to support people all over the world? So listening to you guys is going to be a focus for me in the next upcoming months and years again. Because I've been talking a lot, but I also want to listen. So if there is anything that you want to contribute to the Bitcoin family, then just join the Bitcoin family Telegram group. You can find the links all on the BitcoinFamily.com website. The dogs already joined. You see, they are joining at the moment. And if you join those groups, I am able to listen to you guys and what your ideas, opinions are, for example, about my mic or whatever in life it is, guys. So listening is a very powerful tool. When you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. When you listen, you might learn something new.
which brings me to the last part of the video guys the last part of the video is all about the questions of you followers and me trying to do 20 times with this ball like this and then score and the last part of the video guys is a question of one of the followers the question of the follower was Didi does war influence Bitcoin very good question because there are multiple wars all over the world at the moment we have Ukraine we have uh, we have Israel uh, there's Syria there's so many wars do they influence Bitcoin if we look back in history then wars has always influenced um, store of values and to me Bitcoin is the 21st century store of value the most important store of value so yes I believe that these wars of course have an influence on Bitcoin but I don't believe in a negative influence I believe in a positive influence so when there is a huge war mostly because there is an economical crisis a war is being created you know they need to distract you from the thing that is really happening that economical crisis inflation making you poorer ah, let's make a more war then people will start talking about the war and we can make some revenue to pump up the economy again that's why the war is there war is there because of the greed of the governments uh, to make more money so they can try to fool you a little bit more about um, inflation and all that stuff but when these wars are there the rich people the smart money moves into store of values the poor people's money the normal people's they start to freak out they start to buy toilet paper food cans build bunkers and do all kinds of stuff that they think that will keep them safe but will not protect their capital do you remember the whole situation with that fake flu that you were all running into the supermarkets to buy toilet paper at that moment the rich people the smart money was investing in store of values to protect their capital to be able to buy more toilet paper in the future if that situation kept going on so there is a difference between mindsets of the rich and the poor the rich want to protect their capital the poor want to destroy their capital by buying stupid stuff and that's what we always see in situations of war so I believe that Bitcoin will become this new store of value for those rich people and that's what we see that's also what you saw on that beautiful chart the chart where Bitcoin is now copying gold gold was so 70s and 80s and 90s that's for all the old gold bucks it's still nice but it's like traditional store of value Bitcoin is to the new people and you can see the trajectory that Bitcoin is doing now we are now in the 70s of the period of gold we will see a massive run of Bitcoin to a huge price where it becomes very stable and becomes a new store of value of the 21st century so you just follow the money if you see the rich putting their money in Bitcoin because the spot ETF is being approved you better be there as well put your money in that new store of value the gold of the 21st century is Bitcoin and aside of the monetary aspect Bitcoin is also saving lives during war do you remember during the war in Ukraine that people couldn't leave the Ukraine because they closed down their bank accounts they couldn't withdraw money to even pay for the trip the people that had cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin they were able to buy a bus ticket to go to Poland to their neighbor country and to stay safely there the people with Bitcoin were able to escape that war the same thing will now happen as well in Israel both of these parties will be bombing each other's banks and monetary system will be collapsing inflations will rise massively the people that are smart enough to buy Bitcoin in those areas they will survive that economical war crisis in those areas and they will be able to book airplane tickets for example using Travala you can find the link down below you can pay all your trips with Bitcoin your hotels your flights everything for example they can use that to fly out of that whole war area into a beautiful safe area so Bitcoin is not only about protecting your capital as a store of value but also saving lives because you can still use it when the whole monetary system collapse and that is what we see over and over and over again and it's not only war when that whole pandemic was there and we wanted to support the truckers the centralized way of supporting those truckers with go fuck me I think it's GoFundMe, but I call them GoFuckMe by now because they froze the money of those truckers. They froze the money. They can't freeze Bitcoins, so we stepped over to the Bitcoin system and we started to donate them in Bitcoin, and that was helping them. So Bitcoin is way more 
than just a financial asset that will protect you from inflation, a store of value, but it is also an asset that will protect your freedom. Bitcoin is freedom. The freedom to take your capital wherever you want, whenever you want, all over the world. Not depending on centralized third-party entities like a bank and ask them, can I please use my money now? Or can I please fly over the border with some money? You just need to fly 12 or 24 words in your mind and you fly with your whole capital to the next country, wherever you want to go. So Bitcoin is way more than just a tool to become filthy rich, which it is for most people in this industry. That's the greed talking to you. But also look at the core fundamentals and the use case of Bitcoin, how it's saving lives all over the world, how I am able now to send one euro to my nephew in the Moroccan Islands that doesn't have a bank account to give him some food. Bitcoin is way more than just money. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, and of course the effects of walking into the camera, <laughs> then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all the information, the charts, and everything else? Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Bam!